Hey guys, how are we today? Hope we're all having a lovely day. For today's video, I thought that given it's the end of February, start of March, I would have a, a quick chat about mascaras. So usually I replace my mascara every three months, whether it's empty or not, basically just for good hygiene purposes. Same as what you would replace you know, a loofah or a toothbrush every three months. They do recommend that, you know, between every three to six months you do replace a mascara. So uh, today is the day where I will be, you know, getting rid of my old mascara and bringing in a new one. Now with the rules of my no buy for this year, it basically is replacement only. And I've been using the same mascara, it's the Essence Volume Stylist uh, Curl and Hold. I've been using this same mascara for a couple of years now, not this exact one, but this, you know, brand and type of mascara for a couple of years, and I do love it, but I want to try something different. I've, I've tried a few things over the past couple of years and nothing has ever really measured up to this one. Nothing's ever really been as good as this one. So I thought now would be a perfect time to try a new one. The only downside of this is because of the no no buy for this part of the year, if I don't like the mascara that I do have, then I'm just going to have to live with it. So I did post in a previous video about the concerns about the no buy and this was one of the ones that I've had but I'm determined I'm you know coming down a lot stricter on myself now with you know what I'm buying what I'm not buying and I'm determined not to give in not to crack this month or for the for the rest of this you know no buy period so if I like it I like it that's great if I don't well I'm going to have to live with it I probably look a little bit odd on the camera at the moment because I do have the rest of my makeup done and no eye makeup. I'm actually not going to wear any eyeshadow today to give this a, you know, really good review, really good shot comparison. I'm going to do one eye with my Essence Volume Stylist and one eye with my new mascara, which is the Revolution Big Lash Mascara. Now, straight off, uh, I do love this tube. I do love both tubes. I love the texture in this one and the colour of that. I love the shape and the design of this. I have opened this and one thing that I do love is that there is a good solid click when you do shut it. And it does only shut one way. So um, the curve and shape of this is all where the front part of the writing is and on the back there is just a revolution. The only thing I have noticed is that it can get a little bit fingerprinty, which I don't know if it's really picking up on camera because it is just so shiny. But I, I do like it so far and it's, it's pretty good. The wand on this one is really nice and I did pick this one from their website based purely on the wand and the description of the mascara. It just seems like it would be best suited to you know, the type of mascara that I do want. I do want something that's a bit volumizing. I also want something that is a bit lengthening, which is why I do like this Essence Mascara. Um, this is the shape of the wand of the Essence. As you can see, it's really clogged up with mascara at the moment. I don't know if they put the stoppers inside of the mascara, like what you'd usually find in mascaras and lip glosses and anything in a tube really. I don't know if they put them in here or not because there always seems to be so much mascara on the wand. I do love the shape of this wand so it is curved. I know you probably can't really see that very well but there's a lot more bristles down the bottom than there is up the top and when you turn it sideways you it's like it's really noticeable. I do love the shape of this wand. I do love the mascara itself. I find that it works for me really well. The main issue that I do have with it is that I do have to scrape so much off of it before I can use it because otherwise it's just 
there's too much and it just clumps my lashes all together so I'm going to start with the Essence one because I have already you know gotten this one out and I've scraped most of it off if I put it back in I'll just have to do that which is wasting time I'm going to try and get into it so let's start with this eye Now I found the best way to use this is to pop it right up against the lashes and then just blink into it. It's the best way to get them coated and then you can kind of just wiggle it up and separate the lashes. Another one of the issues I do have with this one is it does tend to, because I have fairly long lashes, it can transfer onto the lid as I'm doing that. But that's a quick, easy fix. I'm not really going to be too precious with it today because I don't have any eyeshadow on so it doesn't really matter. So onto the big lash. It does say Big Ash XL volume mascara so I'm hoping it gives me as much volume as we can see there so with mascara without it is one of the reasons why I do love this mascara is that with one coat you can see how much it just deposited then and it's really separated them lengthened them defined them I don't know why but my lashes do tend to go very light and very pale on the ends so in with this one, so once again, I do love this brush. I think it is really big in comparison though. And I think that that may possibly cause a little bit more issue. So it is a little bit trickier to get into the little lashes in the corner, just because of the size of the brush. But it's not bad. It's definitely separating the lashes more. So I don't know if it's really coming across, but they do look a lot more clumpy on this side. So that is one good part. It does seem to be more of a wet formula as well so it's not quite as dry as the essence now I do prefer a bit of a drier formula just because it seems to brush through the lashes really well but this is doing pretty good actually for being such a wet formula maybe it will be one of those type where you know after a couple of uses it does send tend to dry out a little bit more and you know becomes a lot easier to to brush through I think the issue that I have with more of the wet formula is mainly that it does tend to take so long to dry down and because my lashes are so long it does mean that it is more likely to smudge and that's one thing I can't stand it's just smudgy eyelashes so I'm just going to go in and do the bottom lashes now And this is another one of the areas where I think I'll have issues with the Revolution one is that because of the brush size, I don't know how it's going to go with the lashes down the bottom. So let's have a look and see. So it's definitely more difficult to get the very, very inner corner lashes. But the other option that I have, where is it? 
is I can always use a standard size little disposable spoolie to get in there. I would like I would honestly prefer not to, but you know if it's going to cause any issues, I can do that. So one thing I have noticed is that there is mascara down here on my under eye already, and there's definitely a lot more underneath than on the other side. But it is brushing off and wiping off fairly easily, which with the essence side, I am having to rub that just a little bit more. And there's still a little bit more there. Mm. I think, I don't know if it just looks darker on this side, or maybe it's that they're just a little bit clumped together in the base a little more. I mean, this side is definitely a lot more feathery on the tips of the eyelashes. Maybe that's just to do with the brush shape or that it's a more of a wet formula. With having a drier formula, I do find that it does tend to clump them together a bit more. But let's go in again. I know that sometimes depending on how I brush the lashes together or apart, so you can kind of wiggle them apart a little bit. They do seem to be a lot more defined on the essence side as well. So let's go back in with the revolution. Sorry, between each time I'm using this, I am putting the lid back on this one, but I'm not on the essence just because it's so difficult to scrape off the wand. Ah, there we go. Now that this side has had a chance to dry down a little bit, it it's kind of making it easier, but more difficult at the same time to go over it again. So I'm... I think that they're looking pretty similar at the moment. It does still look a bit darker on the essence side, just in the little mirror that I do have. But I'm liking it. Like, it's it's fairly similar. I mean, it's mascara. There's never really going to be too much of a difference when you're making comparisons anyway. So I'm going to go about wearing this all day. I'm going to see how we go, if there's any smudging, if there's any bleeding. I know that sometimes there is a little bit of smudging on the essence side, but mainly it is underneath if, you know, I tend to get anything in my eye and I rub it. I have had issues in the past where once they, once the mascara dries down and if my eyes start to water or, you know, if I get fairly hot that the mascara basically starts to melt and I'll end up with rings around my eyes so I'm hoping that that's not going to happen with this one. It is one of the things that I love about the essence is that that doesn't happen with that mascara. I'm also going to check in later this afternoon and we're going to take the mascara off together. So with the essence mascara I always always have issues taking it off. I can sit there and cleanse it as much as I can of a night time until absolutely nothing comes off anymore. Wake up in the morning and I still have darkness underneath my lower lashes that's come off during the night when I've been asleep. So I know that tomorrow morning I'm going to have that under my eye as well, no matter how much I, you know, how much product I use to take it off this afternoon. I will be really interested to see how easy this is to take off. And also if there is any residue tomorrow morning. So I don't think I'm going to do any updates tomorrow morning. Mainly because I do have to work. So mornings are always really hectic when I have to work. But I will definitely pop that one up in a follow-up video. This video probably won't go up for a couple of weeks. Just because I'm pre-filming for part of March at the moment. Uh, January and February has been really hectic. So I did miss a couple of videos and a couple of posts and then videos that I had intended to put up did go up a lot later than I had thought that they would uh, just because of videos that I had already had pre-filmed and ones that I had filmed in between so uh, I will check in with you later today and we'll see how things have gone how this is worn and how easy it is to come off 
Let's see you in a little bit. And I am back for today's check-in. So I've had a pretty busy day. I ended up uh, doing a couple of things around home and then went out for lunch. I didn't get back until fairly late. Pretty much have had dinner and then have just been sitting down for a couple of hours. So I've been in and out of home all day. Um, I haven't really had a chance to have a look at how this has gone so far. So let me just scooch right in a little bit and we'll have a quick look. So Not looking too bad so far. There is a little bit of flaking here. There's only a tiny little bit on this side so it does look like there is a little bit more flaking with the revolution side not looking too bad aside from that I think there is a little bit more coverage on the essence side just with the smaller lashes in the middle whereas there's not quite so much on this side so I have found that the essence side maybe just possibly a little bit more volumizing maybe maybe it just makes them stand out a little bit more uh, I think it might have a bit to do with the formula because it is a little bit drier it does tend to coat right through and like I, I really have to brush it through the lashes whereas the revolution side is a little bit more liquidy so it does tend to go on and it's really only when you build up the second layers that it does build up the volume but it's like it's pretty good there's not really too much difference like it's really only the one spot and on a few of the ends here that you can really see okay so I've just run and grab my micellar water which is just the simple cleansing water which is what I usually use to take my mascara off I'm gonna quickly take off my uh, foundation and concealer first just so that when I try to take off the mascara itself, we don't have any um, may other makeup coming off on the pad. So. Mm. I think I might have gotten that a little bit close. A little bit close to the lashes there. Let me just have a quick look. Okay, awesome. So I have two of my standard white reusable makeup pads. I'm just going to pop a little bit of the micellar water on them both. Okay, so we have the revolution side and the essence side. So we can clearly see that it has started to break down the revolution side a lot easier. Let's just keep going. Definitely a lot more on the revolution side. So I'm just going to fold the pads in half here. So we've got mainly clean side on there. So that's really three and a bit wipes so far. There is a little bit, it does tend to spread, oh, I suppose it's spreading on both. <laughs> I'm gonna wash my face anyway afterwards, so it doesn't matter. Although it does look like there's now less smeared everywhere on this side than on this side. So I might take it one side at a time from here, just so I can get a really good look in my little mirrors here. Just going to run it underneath to get the lower lashes. I do have to say it's coming off pretty well. Usually with the Essence Mascara, I do tend to have to 
wipe over and over and over again but usually I don't use these cotton pads I usually use my black ones which might be the difference because the black ones are more of a fleecy material and the white ones are more of a like terry toweling material so you can still see that there is a little bit underneath here I have just looked it is just a dark corner in my inner corner there it's not any mascara spread in there so I'm just going to quickly wipe underneath Just really gently swiping underneath. And that looks pretty clean. So I don't have much build up left in the lashes. I think there's a tiny little bit of lash glue there <laughs> from yesterday, but there's not really any build up left in that side. So I'm going to go back to my essence side which usually does take quite a bit to get the mascara off. So I'm just going to turn it over and go to the back side which is completely white. Probably one of the most boring things you've watched someone take mascara off. <laughs> And you can see that there is still a lot of build up here in the lash line, which this is the issue that I do tend to have with this mascara. I'm not actually wiping this along my eyeball, if you are getting concerned about that. I'm just wiping it along the lash line very gently. Don't want any wrinkles here. But I do find with this mascara, every time I tend to do the top layers it does transfer a little bit more down to the bottom lashes as well so we can definitely see that it is a little bit more work to remove the essence side and we did say that it was a little bit more effort to put it on as well so I think that may just be because of the formula it was a drier formula going on and it does say on the tube that it does include styling waxes. So it might just be that it's the waxy base in this that does make it a little bit more tricky to remove. And I know I did mention earlier as well, oops, a bit there, earlier as well that even with this one, no matter how many times I do try and clean it off that usually there is some build up the next morning as well which I can pretty much guarantee there will be so here are the makeup cloths this is the back of the cloths which I use to do the underneath and these are the front which I use to do the top so this is the revolution this is the essence I'd say because the revolution was a bit of a more wet formula that more of it was deposited on the lashes which is why it is appearing so much more dirtier than this side it could also be that with this side for the essence it just is because it is so difficult to remove it i did like how they both wore today there were never really any instances where i could definitely tell the difference the differences were I would say would probably be between the application and removal uh, aside from where it was showing the inner corner was maybe not quite so coated and I would say that that would just be because of the size of the brush with the revolution one because it is so big like it's it's the size of my entire eyeball it's going to be really hard and it's not like it's a very pointed end it's going to be really hard to get that right in the very corner unless I use a disposable mascara wand. Same as with underneath the bottom as well. It might be a little bit more difficult with those. So I may try it with different styles of mascara wands. I'm not sure 
you know, if maybe the, the same formula is available with a different styling wand. I know they've just brought out quite a few new mascaras. I don't know if they are all the same formula or not, or, you know, if they are, it might just be the, the wands and the brushes that are different. I'm really happy with both of these. I do still love my Essence one, but at the same time, I have now fallen in love with the, the Big Lash from Revolution. I'd say that this will become more of a day-to-day -day one. I know I do try and only ever have one mascara on the go at the time, um, just basically for that, you know, really you should be disposing of it every three months. But maybe once my no buy is over, I might consider keeping two, you know, one for the everyday occasions and the other one, you know, for special occasions like going out, going to parties, that kind of thing, you know, something where I, I really want the definition to be on every lash and I want the length to be on every lash. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you've tried either of these. I have heard quite a lot of reviews about the Essence one, but because the Revolution one is so new, I haven't really seen any online. Let me know what you think. Um, you know, feel free to comment down below. If you have any questions, I'm more than happy to try and answer those. Um, you know, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please let me know. I will try and think up some other ones. I'm kind of running out of ideas of things to post lately. So yeah, feel free to comment down below and until then I'll see you next time. Bye.